Welcome to the Arrowtown demonstration video, Genealogy Advanced, published JADCOM, Part 4. In this video, we'll cover from the home screen menu tab, published JADCOM, and we will cover the filters available in the sidebar. Choose an event, which is a JEDCOM event or choose a county which is a county in which the event took place. So from the complete list of JEDCOM published JEDCOM entries here let's first select all and we can list all of them and if we want to filter this list to see who has a GEDCOM event for education. I can select that and let the system refresh. And you can see four entries, uh, Festus, Kenneth, Mary Louise, and Carlos Glenn. All will have an event for education in the view details. If I want to further look at the filter options. Let me get back to the full published GEDCOM list. And if I want to ask the system to filter for any published GEDCOM that has any event in Richland County, Illinois, let the system refresh and it will filter out the names of six people who have events, genealogy events in the view details here. Uh, Earl, Edith, Betty, Cleo, Kenneth, and Elizabeth all have a genealogical event in their file in Richland County. Now these two filters will work in combination if I select education let that filter refresh again we have the four names now then out of those four names let me find uh, any published GEDCOM in the system that has education in Richland County, Illinois. So these two filters will work together and come up with a filtered list of people in the published EdCon file that have an education genealogy event in Richland County. And it came up with one name, Kenneth Wilson. Let's view the details there. And the GEDCOM events are all over here. And it's right here. Select Education, Richland County, Illinois. Let's take a look at that. And I have to go, after I select it, I have to go back in to view it. And it looks like Alney Township High School, class of 1945 was his education e event. So this is a pretty useful uh, filter to use either looking for an event, an uh, a GEDCOM event, or looking for a location uh, where the event would happen. So if you've traced a line of your ancestry back to uh, someone in a county in Pennsylvania and you want to see if uh, anybody else has a published GEDCOM in the system with that person's name and then maybe uh, uh, birth and death dates for a match um, and you're looking for a marriage event, a education event, a death event, you can filter through the list to narrow your search. A very